Okay, this is a quick overview of the double seat glider chair from Amerihome. It's A-M-E-R-I-H-O-M-E. -E. And I think they're related to somehow to some buffalo tools if you're looking for them. Here's the MCDSG. That's the number that we're doing. The, their item, item number. And so when I called them, they sent me some instructions, but it didn't, didn't seem to help. Let me just show you how this thing came together here. We had problems with these four supports right here, these, these vertical supports. The way I put, when I put them in, there's a bump. I don't know if you can see, there's an indentation here, and there's a bump. When we first did it, we did it with the bump on this side. And then when we were putting the pieces together, the, um, these little plastic spacers in here that go into these vertical supports, the plastic spacer just ripped off and, it, and, the, and the thing fell down onto the ground. So I believe there's a direction that these want to go on. And I think if you put it on with the indentation on the outside, that, you will, that it'll, it'll go in the right direction. Just to make sure, I went back in and I went to the hardware store and bought these washers. And I put washers on so that way if this thing does come off, this vertical does rip off this way, the washer at least is going to hold that on. But I'm hoping now that it's installed in the right direction, it'll stay on. I went ahead and added more washers at the bottom in the, in the sides where it could rip off also. So that was, that was a, a big trick of this that we couldn't, that I couldn't figure out. And um, took some experimentation. So hopefully if, if you look at this video, it'll save you the extra you know, hour that it took me to figure all this out. So then the next problem I had was the back. If you look here, I, I don't know if you could tell that, see that crinkle? You can see it here, there's a crinkle there. I sat in this before I had these supports in and it bent the metal. Um, you'll, if you sit in it before you have these back supports in, uh, you know, you're, you're going to cause problems for the, for the unit. The, the reason why I didn't have the back supports in is because I could not figure out how to get these supports in. The picture was no good, and I couldn't see the picture, and, it, and, it's, and it's written in English. So it's somebody, some Asian person who doesn't speak English, looks like they wrote the instructions. So there's problems, there's things that are not right in it. And... Anyway, I found out my problem was this bar here. This, is a, this piece here fits on top and it connects, this curved piece. If you, it can go one of two ways, and that's, that's the problem. I put it on backwards, so my holes here were at the wrong angle up on this other side. So when I was taking these supports and looking at it, I could not figure out how it was that they went together. So then finally, when I figured out that this is where the support was supposed to go, I realized that this this piece here was on backwards. So you if you you might have to flip this around the right way to get the holes at the right angle. So then there's the back support there and then there's the vertical back support. Hopefully this will help you guys put this thing together and save you the trouble that I had to go through.